Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Mac Studio and especially the M3. Yes, it's coming, folks. It's almost going to be here. I can feel it. It's going to come this year and it's going to be great. But I sort of wanted to cover the topic of <laughs> why would you get the Mac Studio? You've been bragging about your Mac Mini M2 Pro for quite some time now, why are you suddenly considering the Mac Studio? Well, I'm going to tell you my little pork chops. It's actually quite simple, really. I want it. That's the reason. <laughs> no, seriously, though. <clears throat> One thing that I really don't like about my Mac Mini is that uh, there is no SD card reader. But, you know, I have to connect an external one at the in the back of my Mac Mini and it's just annoying because you know I work a lot with video files and I often have to put in the SD card to offload my video files. Now with the Mac Studio as you know the SD card reader is built in and it's on the front. Not only that it has two USB-C ports on the front. That's amazing right? But the question is is it worth it just for those reasons? Yeah I think it is actually. That alone is reason for me to want to upgrade to the Mac Studio. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that the Mac Mini is a fantastic product. I use it all the time. This video that you're watching, yeah, I'm going to edit it. I mean, I've edited it, but when I'm recording it right now, I haven't edited it yet, but I will when I'm done with it. You know what I mean. But my point is that the Mac Mini is fantastic. And I highly recommend it for anyone trying to get into like, you know, video editing and maybe music creation or stuff like that. But the M1 was such a revolutionary chip and I've talked so much about the M chips that I don't know, my mind is just going boop. You know, it's it's a crazy thing. But uh, with this new M chip, things have really changed. And when I started looking at the Mac Studio and it's also going to get the M3. Now, to be completely honest, if it does come, I'm not going to buy it instantly. I'm going to watch some reviews first. And if the results are much bigger, I'm probably going to get it. But to be honest, if I was to get a Mac Studio today, I would probably get the M1 Max. That's right, the M1 Max. Because, you know, this year I've been playing around with the M1, the M2, M2 Pro, M2 Max. And I just come to the conclusion that the M1, the regular M1 is good enough for video editing. So as far as I'm concerned, the Mac Studio M1 Max is heavily discounted right now and I think it's a fantastic product that gives you the most bang for the buck right now. Now it costs around two thousand dollars which means that it's almost like twice the price with my Gorilla Math is like twice the price of a Mac Mini and for some people I would say you don't need to spend that extra money if you're short on cash but if you have a lot of money and I do then uh, yeah the M1 Max Mac Studio is a cool machine to get. And that's why I'm actually considering it. And I have a very sneaky suspicion that before the end of this year, what you'll be seeing here is actually a Mac Studio. Yeah, I think it's it's uh, it's it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If not this year, it's definitely going to be next year. And then I'm going to quit tech altogether. I'm just going to call it a day. The Mac Studio is going to be my last tech purchase for the next 10 years. It's going to be the cast pajamas. I'll be pleased with it, you'll be pleased with it, and we're all going to be able to go home to our tech devices and just play around with them. And I just, you know, looking at things like uh, MacBooks and iMacs, I'm just bored to death with those things. Now, I made a bunch of videos talking about MacBooks and, you know, highlighting how incredible are they are. They are just capable of so much, and I, and I love those machines, I really do. Um, I especially miss my MacBook... Uh, that my damn puppy peed on and I can't fix it to save my life. I, 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 yeah, I'm probably going to get a new MacBook as well. And I've actually been considering just getting the MacBook Air 15 because I've noticed that I also don't edit that much on my MacBooks. I use them mostly for browsing the web. So I don't really need all that extra power. And the downside of having a laptop, and I've explained this, but when you look at a desktop computer versus a laptop, the upside of having a desktop like 
the Mac Mini or the Mac Studio is that you can get any screen, any mouse, any keyboard, but with a laptop, you're sort of stuck. With a iMac, you're sort of stuck with that screen, you know? I mean, technically, I suppose you can connect it to a different monitor and shut off the main monitor, but that's just, that would just look ridiculous. I think we can all agree on that. So I can't really do that. So as far as I'm concerned, if you want like real hardcore pumping uh, CPU performance and you want to be able to upgrade and do things that you can usually just do on PCs and you have been from since the you know beginning of mankind and history and bacteria and stuff like that, um, you know, you can't really upgrade much on Mac computers except the new Mac Pro, Pro which is just extremely expensive. I would not recommend that to anyone at this point. The Mac Studio is the best machine you can get. All you have to make sure is that you get a good amount of RAM, like no less than 16. That's it. And then you can upgrade with external storages. You know, I've talked about the Samsung T7, the Crucial X6, fantastic SSDs that are good enough for most people's needs and requirements. So the Mac Studio is just such a fantastic product when I just look at it. My only concern is it's kind of tall. My question is, is it going to be too tall? You know, am I going to have to get something to get my monitor a bit higher? I don't know. I can't turn, I can't pivot this upwards. It's a bad monitor. Yeah, I, I cheaped out on that one. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. I'm going to stop talking because I've noticed that uh, with this video, we've reached a new low. Like normally when YouTubers make videos, they improve upon. And for me, it's the other way around. I'm trying to reach the bottom, you know, how much worse can my videos get? And this is a new low. We've reached a new low, folks. This is as bad as it gets. Until next year, that's what I'm going to really put my gloves on and really start going to work on making bad videos. <laughs> you have no idea what's in store. I don't know what's in store, <laughs> so it's going to be a wild ride. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video, despite it being a bit flimsy. I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching. Can't believe you watched this long. Honestly, if I was watching this video, I would have turned off after just one minute. It's crazy that you're still sitting here watching this video. Okay, I've embarrassed myself enough. I'm going to go now.